welcome back to my channel. So yeah, um, I meant to do this video a while ago, completely forgot, well, not forgot. <laughs> I did record a video. It was 30 minutes long, give or take. And as I was editing it, I realized that I was really only going to keep about six minutes of it. So yeah, let's just say not using that video. And then I went on a trip out east for a week, August 1st to the 7th. And I was planning on recording my video there, you know, have a nice hotel room in the back, sort of do two things at once kind of thing. You know, enjoy the time out east and get this video done. Yeah, um, we were pretty much in and out of hotel rooms most of the time. Um, Canada is very big, <laughs> for those of you who don't know. And, uh, traveling out east to New Brunswick from Ontario, it's a long drive. Yeah, so I'm super busy over the last week, uh, two weeks pretty much, and I tried to record the video didn't get a chance so now I'm doing it here so basically for anyone who may not have watched my vlogs for all of July basically throughout July I was participating in Camp NaNoWriMo I got my little mug here and so basically what I was doing throughout July was working on this baby uh, this is part of the story. It's not everything. Um, nothing that I have typed up throughout all of July is in here yet. Um, I don't know if I will transfer what I typed up into here, mostly because I find writing down what I've typed is a lot harder than typing up what I've written down. So I might just continue typing everything and then just add in like notes and whatnot to this little baby. Or, you know, I might just pull out the pages I've used and use it for something else. Who knows? But, um, yeah, so basically all of July I was working on my Project Artemis story. I still haven't figured out a better name for it yet. And it's funny knowing that I was going to add a Greek mythology and have since pulled that aspect out of my story. The fact that I'm still calling it Project Artemis is... It's sort of like an uh, homage to that a little bit. But, um, yeah, July... July was long, <laughs> let me tell y'all. Uh, you guys can watch my whole playlist of um, Camp Nano. I have three videos in which I sort of just vlog, vlog my uh, week sort of thing. So, y'all can check those out. They will be linked either in the corner or down below depends on what i decide to do but um yeah so basically uh quick, like i was doing a quick overview working on project artemis and my goal for july was to reach twenty five thousand words now if you haven't watched the uh, other videos i kind of recommend that you do it kind of uh, catch it to you up on basically everything that was going on and let you know basically what uh, kind of clues you in on what I'm talking about. Uh, short version, I reached my goal with 25,007 words, so I'm happy about that. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really glad I was able to take part in this. I learned about um, sort of like the whole AuthorTube community and NaNoWriMo pretty late in um, April and so I kind of started I think like halfway through April and at that point I kind of just cheated because I wanted to get what I had written down typed up and the thing is is that I haven't actually touched this story in something like three years I want to say since 2016 and it's now 2019 so the first few chapters of this story are shit. <laughs> I just gotta say it right out, they're shit. And so I know when I go 
back after finishing this and I have to re-edit everything. There's going to be a lot to do within the first six or so chapters. So yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, but I'm really enjoying where my story is going right now. I'm kind of getting to know my characters better. Uh, there's a few things that I am I know want to happen, so I'm starting to foreshadow it. And I was debating on doing something with a character, but I decided not to simply because I was going to kill them off later on. So, yeah, the, the side story I had for a character kind of fell flat because it's like, well, I have to kill them anyway, so the side story doesn't really matter. But it's interesting when you're working on a story for so long, just what sort of things you decide to keep in, what you leave out, uh, you get to know your characters more when you're constantly working on the story and you don't leave it sitting for three years. And I just honestly really enjoyed the aspect of just being able to sit down and work on this story again after I thought I would never pick it up. I thought it was just permanently shelved and everything so I'm really happy I was able to do that and I think one of the other things I was really glad about for NaNoWriMo is being done <laughs> um, not in a bad way it is just when you're focusing on something so much and then you finally finished it just that sense of accomplishment it's I don't want to say it's like a euphoria, but it kind of has that feeling where you're just, you're so happy and you're so energetic and you just think nothing can go bad now. And not to mention, you know, I kind of, I, I kind of treated myself after I finished. Not to, uh, also, I finished on, I believe, the 27th or 28th of July. The 27th, yeah, because it was a Saturday. I know I'm a month before my birthday, I realized that later on. Um, and then if you also count in the fact that there were two days that I completely skipped over, so there were zero word count days, I basically got 25,700 words in 25 days. So what is that, about a thousand words a day, basically. Ooh, fast math, I like when I can do that. <laughs> but yeah, no, thinking about it, it's just like, I was able to put this goal and like I set this goal for myself and I completed it and the sense of accomplishment if you guys have ever done something like this you'll understand it it's probably one of the best feelings in the world and I'm definitely going to do this more going forward just setting a goal for myself and hitting it and making sure I don't miss the deadline that I set and yeah I just really really loved being able to take part in NaNoWriMo this month, being able to, you know, pick up the story again after I had let it sit for three years. And I mean, maybe I needed those three years to figure out what worked and what didn't, to learn that I was clogging up the plot too much with every little thing I was putting in. Um, I don't know if I would ever actually get this published. I feel like it's very... I don't know what the word is for it right now. Um, it's been overdone, basically. Like, I have a series of books right behind me, which you can't see right now because I was reorganizing my room. So I had pulled everything out and it's just easier to pull my books back out when they're like this. But um, Kelly Armstrong's uh, Darkest Powers and Darkest Rising series, check them out. They are amazing. And of course, I love her because she's Canadian, also from Toronto. But, um, you know, I got a part of my inspiration from her series and then part of my inspiration from another TV show I was watching. And of course, like I said, there was the Greek mythology um, aspect that I have since dropped from the book, which means I have to sort of go back through the book and kind of figure out <laughs> uh, certain aspects that I need to change. It, uh, for instance, whenever um, my main character's father talks about the mother, well, now who is the mother kind of thing, because originally it was supposed to be Artemis, hence the Artemis in the title, so 
yeah <laughs> but I think being like coming to it extremely fresh in mind like I said I haven't touched this thing for three years and coming back to it fresh of mind you know a bit more knowledgeable in what it takes to write a story that kind of stuff it really did help and you know just being able to take part in this it was fun and I didn't feel like I was stressing myself too much because you know it's July I'm done school I'm not doing anything I'm currently not working which sucks but you know in April and November those are crunch times if anyone watching is in university or college you understand crunch times uh, for those so I don't think I'll be able to take part in NaNoWriMo for those months but for July it was just a really nice thing to be able to do over the summer that wasn't overly stressful, I think, is what the word, is what I'm looking for. And honestly, I just really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, those are my final thoughts on the subject. I know it's pretty late getting this video out. Again, I'm sorry, I was just super busy uh, with trying to get videos for YouTube done as well as packing and of course I was traveling and you know I'm just glad I was able to sit down with you guys and sort of get my thoughts out I know I ramble a lot um, and yeah if you guys have any questions do leave them down in the comment section down below and of course my question for all of you is would you if you've never taken part in NaNoWriMo, would you? And if you have taken part in NaNoWriMo, like either just this past July or in general, what are some tips you can give to a newbie like me going forward with my story if, and all that kind of stuff? I would love to hear from you guys. And yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.